Whoa, it's Tuesday. We're gonna switch it up, guys. We're gonna start doing Top Shot News Weekly as well. I do a sports card hobby news every week, and we're gonna add in Top Shot to that to kind of give something back as well to the Top Shot audience. So guys, stick with me. Hello to all my NBA Top Shot collectibles friends. I hope that you are doing great. If you are new to this channel, we talk a lot about collectibles, whether it be physical sports cards, NBA Top Shot, graded comic books, graded video games, graded action figures, all the cool stuff that maybe your regular friends don't really want to talk about all the time. That's what this community is for. So hit that subscribe button, karate chop the notification bell, as my son and daughter would say. And let's dig into some NBA Top Shot news. All right, I caught what's called the NBA Top Shot Discord Office Hours podcast. It was on YouTube, actually, where I found it. But this was really, really informative, and I believe that they do this on a weekly basis. This is the first time that I've actually seen it pop up, and I believe it's just through the NBA Top Shot YouTube channel. Um, and, and again, maybe this is something they put out every week. I have seen kind of the notes or the cliff notes on Twitter. People have kind of retweeted. And so I was, I was watching this and I was just really, really excited kind of about just the transparency of Jacob Eisenberg. And he's the guy, he's one of the higher ups there uh, that, was, that was doing this interview that was kind of talking and answering questions from the Discord, essentially what it is. And so one thing, if NBA Top Shot does one thing, they get out there and, and get out into the community. They're not hiding, you know, behind the website issues or the withdrawal issues or any of that stuff. They talk about it. And so Jacob Eisenberg was on this podcast uh, on the YouTube channel, and they were just talking about different things, different questions from the Discord. And one thing that strikes you from the very beginning is they are not playing around with security and compliance. You know, so that's something. And I think that that's if you're running kind of a... Um, you know, a crypto collectible type deal, type platform, this is kind of what you want. I mean, you want it to be run really tight, you know, and I'm sure there's probably, gosh, there's, there's things that they need to work through, but really, really enjoyed listening to him talk about different ways that they're working around things, kind of talking about why withdrawals are taking a long time. One thing that he actually pointed out, which didn't even click with me because um, a lot of times it's like, why are withdrawals taking so long? One thing he was saying is, is that there are there's people that are in, for example, in other countries, China and the Ukraine, he used as examples. There's some countries that are not, you know, not able to use Top Shot yet, but essentially what's happening is there's people in those countries that are using a VPN to sign up for Top Shot, but then they run into a problem withdrawing. Then they can't withdraw. So that's where, you know, if you have 200,000 users and he didn't say, you know, he didn't say, well, X amount of them are in, you know, China, Ukraine, other countries where there's where they're running into issues like this. But, you know, that does kind of point to some of those issues because I've seen a lot of people online say, oh, you've got 200,000, 300,000 people that have signed up and only 40,000 can withdraw, for example. You know, but there's there's things going on behind the scenes that, that we're not aware of. And, and I think that, you know, a lot of what they're trying to do is just trying to be careful. I mean, look, let's let's be be real here. They're dealing with, you know, the an NBA license. I'm sure I'm speculating, but I have to assume the NBA is like, yeah, make sure everything is secure and make sure that, you know, everything is batted down. The hatches are batted down. We're, you know, totally good with that. Um, and so the 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 feel that I got was it wasn't lazadaisical as far as that goes. It did feel like they were really putting effort into those security measures and and getting withdrawals going faster. That was one thing that um, there was a question about new signups. You know, when will we when will people be able to sign up every day on a regular basis? And he said, you know, to be honest, not really sure. Not really sure when we're going to be able to do that. You mean not good like one out of a hundred? I'd say more like one out of a million. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! Part of that was because they have to, they're trying to advance withdrawals or trying to get more people to be able to withdraw. So there's not, you know, there, there's a lot of speculation as, as you know, oh, they're, they're not allowing people to withdraw on purpose. 
didn't get that at all. Didn't get that feeling at all. Um, I do think that it's a, it's something that they are taking very seriously. I don't think that they're that they're trying to hold it up. So I watch that. Definitely check that out. It's that office hours Discord office hours. Uh, I thought that was really good. The the other point I, I forgot to mention too out of that uh, that I thought was really interesting that I didn't really think of is what's been happening too is you have challenges where you have to gather uh, certain certain moments to win that challenge and get kind of the prize at the end. And what's happening is, is as soon as that challenge is over, then a lot of times those moments just drop in price because people are like, oh, I don't need this anymore. Like the challenge is over. And one thing that he said was, is that um, we, there's going to be moments can be recycled essentially. He's basically what he's saying is, is that just because a moment was for this challenge doesn't mean that same moment won't be for a future challenge. So kind of, um, you know, challenging people, not necessarily just to dump off, you know, those moments after a challenge, maybe keep them in their collection for a little bit longer, or just maybe give it some thought. Um, and because they could be used down the road for a different challenge, have different utility. They also kind of brushed over the hard courts game. Um, I believe that's what it's called, hard court, hard courts, uh, the game that is in development down the line at some point. Uh, they did touch on that briefly as well as a piece of utility. So, I mean, there's, there's, so, many, there's so many things, there's so many moving parts. I really did like that chat. I'll, I'll certainly be tuning in each week. There was a good Roham tweet, which Roham is the guy kind of running the show at Dapper Labs. Um, he puts out some good stuff. I mean, he's on Twitter quite a bit, um, but he put out a tweet recently and it was showing Top Shot stats since February 1st. And it was basically, you know, nine times, you, or nine X unique buyers per month, three uh, X total transactions per month, five X total sales volume per week. And just kind of like digging, he was retweeting somebody else's stats. And it was somebody that was really kind of digging into the big picture because, and of course, we're all speculating on this brand new platform. You know, there are, you know, it's, there, there are no sure things and all of that stuff. But one thing that just keeps on sticking in my mind, and I know I keep on hearing people say, you know, once people can withdraw all their money, the thing falls apart and goes away. I just don't believe that. There's just something in me that doesn't believe it. Um, and the, another, the big thing is, is that I just feel that there are more than 200,000 people that went in on this platform globally. And right now they're not allowing any new signups and they haven't been for weeks, maybe even a month, uh, that you couldn't actually sign up and create an account. That's people that want to get on the platform and spend money on the platform and collect on the platform. One more thing, going back to Jason Eisenberg on the Discord Office Hours YouTube channel that I watched, was there was such a huge emphasis on collectors and collecting. You know, they, they are aware that people are getting in and buying and selling and flipping. And he actually said that I think that that's a healthy thing for a collector to do too, if you're trying to, you know, get to other moments or, you know, I mean, that, that stuff is healthy. Um, but he is a big believer in the collectors, uh, really, this really gaining steam with collectors. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes, but I wanted to bring that up. All right, my top shot thought of the week. I was thinking about this and just kind of, I've, I've been watching a lot of content on this. The one thing that people might not be aware of as well is there are some big whale accounts and they're actually called, I think one of them's called whale one, whale two or something like that. And they, you know, it's like they own $50 million worth of top shot moments. Um, but, and I've seen different kind of interviews with, with the whale vault, whale vault, that's what it is, whale vault. Um, you have people that have big accounts that are holding big supply and they're not selling it. And they don't have any intention of selling it because they view this in a community type uh, deal. It's, it's, it's not, of course, there's a financial element to it, but there is more of a communal type deal with this. That's, it's interesting. It's different. Uh, it's different than anything I've ever seen. So I wanted to bring that up because when we talk about supply demand, obviously there's going to be more moments, more players, different you know, things that are going to be coming out. But you also have large accounts that are holding a lot of supply. Um, which means that that's not supply that's that's on the market that's good for values, so to speak. If you have people that are kind of you know holding, if not if everyone's not just kind of spilling it out into the marketplace to sell, if that holds that way, um, that's positive for the market. Because I know a lot of people are kind of thinking like, you know, I don't, you know, when is it going to go back up? And it was you know it was sky high, then it came back down, and and you know to me the big holdup right now for that happening in my opinion, strictly speculating here, guys, it's just not having new users. It's not having new accounts. It's not having new signups. 
And I think that that's going to realistically, I think they'll actually take months to get to a point where the site just accepts new signups at any given second, because I think they're really going to take their time in getting the stuff right. And, um, I think that once, I think it's going to take a while and I think it's going to take some patience, but I think that for the people that are patient, I think it's going to pay off. Of course, I'm speculating stuff could go to zero tomorrow, could go to zero. I don't know what's going to happen, blah, 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 of course. But that's just kind of my, my feeling with this stuff is, is that, you know, because you're, you're limiting the amount of money coming into it, you're really limiting the amount, you're, you're limiting all of it. Um, and I'm not saying, you know, they need to do that to get it right. So I get it, but that's kind of where we're at with it, in my opinion. I wanted to throw out there a few channels that I like to watch, that I like to follow that are related to Top Shot, Top Shot content creators, just to try to keep up on what's going on and what's, you know, just to learn more about it. If you're brand new to it, if you're just hearing about it right now, or if it's something that you've been hearing about and you're kind of like, okay, well, yeah, let's see what else is out there. You want to listen to someone talk about it. The first one uh, would be the first mint is the name of the YouTube channel. I really like this guy and it really kind of sensible takes. I mean, you know, not, um, you know, some people will say like, oh, these are, you know, there's, there's a lot of hype people, uh, you know, hype men, hype women, you know, around whether it be sports cards or, you know, or, or top shot or anything. Um, this guy's got a really sensible kind of take and he's got kind of beginner tips, uh, different things to look out for, different things, you know, different ways to collect. I just kind of like his demeanor. I like his style. Next, Top Shot Takes. This is three guys, and then one of them actually has a morning show that he does, kind of morning marketplace that he spun off and does on his own as well. But this is three guys, and again, really sensible dudes that are just kind of talking, talking basketball, and, and really actually, especially the guy that spun off and does his morning Top Shot Takes or morning Top Shot Marketplace. That guy knows a lot about basketball, period. So I like actually just listening to him just to hear his basketball takes as well. Uh, just, you know, they're, they're knowledgeable on the platform, but then also provide some really kind of sound takes, and I like watching them as well. Lastly, Jennifer Topshot. She also puts out kind of good, the very short videos, typically two, three, maybe five minutes long, but informative and just, just good overall attitude. I like watching her channel and actually going to have her on next week, it looks like. She'll be on the channel. We'll do, a, we'll do a live on my channel just to talk about the collecting side of NBA Top Shot uh, because there's so much talk about the flipping and the, oh, everyone's just on that, on that platform to make money. And I'm telling you, there is a there is a Top Shot collecting community out there, and it's interesting to learn more about that. I want to talk with her more about that stuff and her strategies and her thoughts. Guys, thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to try to do this. should be a doubleheader premiere, so I should have the Sports Card Hobby News coming after this. This one should come about 8, 8 a.m., and then the next one at 8.15, something like that. We'll make it work. Have an awesome day, guys. Have an awesome Tuesday. Stay positive. Stay confident. We will talk to you again later.